Diablo. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the Earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn. Training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. Oof. Oh. You got what you were after. What the so hell? You're crying in the hey. rain, Pally. My damn hands. <laughs> hey, guess who's waking up Get over this off here. me. Oh. Uh oh. Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Um. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. Killing people? But I ain't a fink. Dig. Maybe we can just talk about this. You know, no need for the gun. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. Oh, shit. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Come on, buddy. Let's just talk about this. The game no need. From the start. Come on. It's alright. Freaking dead? White light. You're awake. How about that? Ugh, guess not. Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Max. They call me Max. Where the hell am I? <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Wait, bits of lead? As in bullets? In my head? Well, I gotta say, I'm still looking as handsome as always. 
could do with a shave, though. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Oh, Christ. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Oh, you don't need to save out again. Uh, what is this place? Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. Okay. Let's get this thing to try. Well, it says I have a strength of a two-year-old. I'm built like a noodle. Slightly unlucky. But hey, at least now none of my smarts or my good looks have been injured. Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. you know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Yeah, I could do it to sit down. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. I hate this game. Uh... Newspaper. House. Invest. Night. Dream. Bandit. Bribe. Light. Beam. Mother. Caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Well, I do run by the motto of, why fight when you can run away? I ain't given to relying on others for support. Yeah, I'm stubborn and I like to do things alone. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Yeah, no opinion on that one. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Hell no. Have you seen lasers? They're goddamn awesome. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Well, yeah. People call me stubborn. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Two very pissed off ants. Okay. How about this one? Yeah, speaking of lasers, it's some kind of spaceship. Last one. A bearded man or maybe two bears high-fiving? Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Well, at least you got one thing right. Good with science. Can talk to people. And I have a habit of going into places where I shouldn't. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Well, family history. I'm built like a breadstick. And weird shit always does happen to me. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Wait, that's it? No, like, come for a checkup in two weeks? Ugh, the Mojave needs a better medical service. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. 
I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I'll do my best. Right. Victor, sunny smiles. First. See if I can get more information off a good doctor. Hey, chemistry set. Should be able to make something here. Let's make some drugs. Don't really use them myself, but they go for a good market price. After all, it would appear I only have 18 caps on me. Could do with the money. And I have this natty jumpsuit which he left me. Not half bad looking. Now, oh, where did the doctor go? I expect you'll be wanting to go outside after being cooped up for so long, but if you have any questions, I'll answer what I can. Thanks, Doc. Well, tell me about yourself. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Sounds a sweet story. You tell me about what town this is. Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Sounds like a good position. Water's more valuable than gold out here in the desert. Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a fella named Chet. He don't got nothing fancy, but he's got your basics covered. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the Prospector Saloon. The bartender there, Trudy, knows everyone in town. Other than that, there's not much to see. Just people trying to scratch out a living. So we've got a saloon, a merchant, and a robot. That's about it. Tell me more about this robot that was rescued me. That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Well, that's foreshadowing. Know anything about the guy who shot me? All I remember is a suit. I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. Alright, so that's Trudy to talk to as well. 
You got anything for my wounds, Doc? I'm still hurting a little. Of course. You've been through a lot. It ain't much, but these'll do you right if the pain flares up. Thanks, Doc. Much appreciated. You said before you had something taken from you. Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. No, sorry. Didn't mean to bring up bad memories. Anyway, thanks, Doc. I'd best be going. You look after yourself, okay? You take care now. Okay. So, I need to talk to Trudy, Victor, and Sunny Smiles. Figure out who shot me, get some supplies, and get on the trail. That reminds me, Doctor gave me a note which is apparently on my Pip Boy. Let's see. Mojave Express Delivery Order, 6 of 6. Instructions. Deliver a package at the north entrance to the Vegas Strip by the way of Freeside. An ancient, an agent of the recipient will meet you there at the checkpoint. Take possession of the package and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. Bonus on completion, 250 caps. This package contains oversized poker chip composed of platinum. Contract penalties, yada yada yada. Oh. Seems that I'm not due any compensation for getting shot in the head in the line of duty. Uh, always gotta love those legal clauses. Right. Well, let's see what Goodsprings has to offer. <laughs>